While Percy was away, Terence had done all the shunting in the yard. Adaptable, he boasted. That's what my owner says I am. Go anywhere, do anything, that's me. You take my advice and scrap your rails. Broaden your outlook, like me. Pooh, said Percy. Me, plough a field. I prefer to stay on my rails, thank you. Steam engines did plough once upon a time, Terence chuckled, and ran on roads. The engines remembered Trevor and had to admit that Terence was right. Repairs to Mavis took longer than expected, and Toby became used to crumbling off to the quarry each morning. Because of Toby's small water tank, his driver and fireman had arranged with the quarry manager that they should bring loaded trucks down to Farquhar at lunchtime instead of later in the day. It saved time too, for Toby would otherwise have needed an extra journey to fill his water tank. This way, he delivered the trucks and got water in one visit. Time passed, and the weather became colder, the car crosses the night. They didn't worry Toby, his fire kept him nice and warm, and he put the happily to and fro, arranging the trucks, taking them down to the yard, and bringing back empty ones. One night it was particularly cold. The ground froze solid and even Toby felt chilly. Brrr, he shivered as he left the shed and set out, light engine along the line towards the quarry. When the ground freezes, it swells. At the road crossing, where Mavis had had her accident, the frost had swollen earth in the ruts beside the rails so much that Toby's wheels were lifted clean off the track. There was a crunching noise, a rumbling, and Toby began to shudder. He was horrified. Oh, uh, he exclaimed. What's happening? The line here curves away towards the quarry, but Toby, with no rails to guide his wheels round, simply went straight on. Toby was not going fast. Whoa there, Toby, said his driver at once, and put on the brakes as hard as he dared. Safely, Toby came to a stop with all six wheels firmly on the roadway. Oh dear, he said, looking at the grass verge in front of him. Now what? His fireman jumped down. No problem, he said. With care, we can have you back on the rails in no time. I don't see how, said Toby, sadly. Directed by the fireman, the driver carefully reversed Toby along the ruts his wheels had just made. At last, with a thud and a jolt, Toby felt the rails safely beneath his wheels once more. He heaved a sigh of relief. Well done, Toby, said his fireman. Now I'll spread a few hot ashes from your fire along there so that it doesn't happen again. Then we can get safely up to the quarry and no one will be any wiser. But they reckoned without the fat controller. When Mavis was home after being mended, he came to see the engines. What's this I hear, Toby? he asked. Trying to be a traction engine, were you? Toby blushed, but the fat controller wasn't cross. Toby told him about Terence. The fat controller laughed. <laughs> if I were you, he said, I should leave the roads to what they were made for. You stay on the rails, you'll find them much more comfortable. Toby the tram engine was quick to agree.